and place the items on the lower shelf of a trolley, which has been cleaned with disinfectant. Standing at the patient's right-hand side, open a sterile towel and carefully place it on the top of the trolley, avoiding touching the upper surface of the towel. Open the packs containing the other equipment and carefully drop the sterile contents onto the trolley. Put some saline into the sterile pot. Wearing sterile gloves, ensure the syringe is filled with 10 millilitres of sterile water and the plastic wrapper is removed from the catheter before continuing. Ask the patient to open their legs with the knees bent and ankles together. Carefully place a sterile paper towel between the legs and place the kidney dish on the towel. With the left hand, part the labia and expose the urethral opening. With the right hand, take a saline soak swab and clean the vulval area and the urethral meatus. With the right hand, take the cap off the lignocaine gel and gently insert the tip of the syringe into the urethral meatus. Then expel the contents into the urethra. After a minute, insert the tip of the catheter into the urethra and guide it in with steady, gentle pressure. When urine appears at the end of the catheter, advance for a further few centimetres and then inflate the balloon with 10 millilitres of sterile water via the side port. Protocols give varying instructions on exactly how far to advance the catheter before inflating the balloon. Please follow your local protocol. Attach the collection bag or urometer and gently pull back on the catheter until resistance is felt when the balloon rests on the bladder neck.